if it's a brand new iPad you're setting up and you want to put your backup from iTunes on it, um, this is for you. Also, if you've uh, factory reset your iPad to clear up some memory, this is also for you. So once you plug in the new iPad, uh, a factory reset or a brand new iPad, the machine will see it as an iPad. Open up your iTunes. Now we're restoring from a backup, we're not setting up as a new iPad. Although there is a video on the channel to show you how to set up a new iPad. So do subscribe. So we'll see the options I've got. I've got the backup to take me to the geek and I press continue. So this is going to take a good uh, few minutes to go through. So good chance to tell you, subscribe, check out the channel. I'm putting up lots of videos today. I've had loads of emails asking for these, how to restore, how to back up, how to factory reset, how to sell your iPad, how to get more memory on an iPad. In fact, just about everything I've been asked for on an iPad, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, as if by magic, that restore has completed, and this is the iPad starting up. Now, one thing that it doesn't uh, completely restore is your network settings. So it's going to ask you to, so the restore's successful, excellent, but now it wants to connect to the Wi-Fi. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, then it's gonna be iCloud. Now this is the, after the complete setup, this is after the complete install. I've got 5.4 gig, I had three gig, three when I started. It's well worth doing this process, whether you're selling your machine or not, just to get some more memory back. So hopefully that was good for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe for all the other videos, and thanks very much.